Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kenya and we're back again with another video today. If this is your first time tuning in to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload any of my videos here on my channel. And let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. So, I wanted to go ahead and answer and give my opinion on the most famous ask question that any, everybody that has started locks, that, that is about to start their locks, they just started their locks, they went to a loctician and the loctician tells them this right before they walk out the door. When to come back for their first wash? When to first wash your hair? When should I wash my hair? When should I put water to, when? Like that is the number one question that a lot of people want to know. And I'm pretty sure that everyone receives different answers. Before I give you my opinion, I want you to go ahead and drop down in the comment box. What were you, what was you told? If you have locks. What were you told? Even if you don't have locks, what were you told? What day did they tell you guys? Did they tell you three months, six months, um, two weeks, six weeks? What? were you told and what did you do now let me let you also know that if this is your first time watching i am not a licensed professional loctician or like a hairstylist or do this every day or anything like that i've had my locks for two and a half years um and i just go ahead and share my opinion on what i think and what i did now this is my second head of locks my first set i started out with coral twists um, coral, with, which is palm roll, which is this regular traditional locks. And this second time go round, I started off from the very beginning interlocking. One of the number one, one of the number one answers that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get is three months. Three months. This three month thing had been going around for so long. When I first locked my hair, that's exactly what I was told. When I was doing my research or I was just like hearing other people to share their stories about, you know, I've seen people who had their hair locked for so long. I always heard that three months. Oh, I waited three months to wash my hair. Oh, you shouldn't wait till three months to wash your hair because it's going to unravel. Like three months, three months, three months, three months. And I was like, damn three months i gotta wait three months to uh, before i can wash my hair like that's gonna be hard as crap but when i installed my locks i did not wait three months i couldn't wait three months three months was long as heck you telling me i'm gonna have to go from washing my hair on a normal one to two weeks to waiting three months to wash my hair like i was just not understanding why like I, I i mean i i was it was convincing but it was still like damn that's a long time but lo and me i don't always follow instructions directions and i don't always listen i didn't wait though when i months. first locked my hair i washed my hair within the first three weeks and this is when i had corals i did not wait three months i literally washed my hair within like the first three i would say probably four weeks because i had this was like this is my first set of locks um years ago because i've had this for two years and i would say this is like about that i installed it my daughter is now 12 so 12 years ago okay 12 or 13 years ago and that is the time when people were going around saying that three months is the time that you should wait to lock, to wash your hair. Now, I did not have more a lot of information about it. I didn't do a lot of research. I had I, I made a lot of mistakes then, but at least I had enough sense to know that not wait three months to wash my hair. Um, and I'm glad that I'm carrying on today, 2019, and I still have this, enough sense to know that Three months is not the time. I would never inform anyone to wash their hair in three months. You can wash your hair two weeks, three weeks. Just don't, the ones that have corals, just, I just advise don't sit there and like go like ham on scrubbing. Because of course, yes, the corals are going to start coming out. Take your time. Some people use a stocking cap or a net or any, something like that. And they wash their hair. The cleaner your hair is, the faster it will lock. I say this again. The cleaner 
your locks is, the more the hair will start to move around. They get to reposition themselves, the strands. You want your hair to mat. You, you want your hair to move. You want your hair to move in whatever direction it wants to move. That's the only way it's going to lock. But if you have products in there, because some people start their locks off with products, and you, you have it st stiffed in one, like, one position for three months, three months, once you wash your hair, I guarantee it's going to be as if you just installed your locks that day. Because it hasn't done anything. Your locks haven't done anything. You will be advised. I'm pretty sure you probably was advised. Oh, cover your hair up. Don't wash for three weeks. Probably use dry shampoos. Um, all these things. So your hair haven't moved. The strands haven't moved. It's just been like in prison for three months. Three months. With locks, they need to be free. The strands need to be free. They need to be able to move around. So with washing the shampoo and you like, you know, massaging your scalp, they're starter locks. So you got to be gentle. They're babies. But three months? Come on, guys. Your hair will start to smell. You will probably be spraying things in there because it's going to start itching, especially if you have dry scalp. You're going to start seeing flakiness. And the flakiness is going to get into the lock. And you're going to start having buildup at an early, early stage. You do not want to have buildup at an early stage. Because you're going to start scratching your scalp. You're going to start you're like, oh my God, I got two more months to go. Come on, guys. Three. Come on. You're going to have dandruff. And it's going to turn into buildup. And now you're going to have a hard time trying to get that out of your scalp or out of your hair because it's now in the hair. It's now at the root. It's now there. It's going to be right there. And you're going to sit there trying to get it out. Now you really don't want to manipulate the, the hair too much because then you're possibly going to unravel your hair. Even with interlocks, you don't want to wait that long to wash your hair. Because you're going to start seeing if you have dry scalp, you're scratching, dandruff. Um, if you're the ones that, that put products in your hair, it's going to get stuck in there. So don't do that. Let's leave that behind um, in 2018. We're now in 2019. Let's just go ahead and leave that behind. Let's let's move on. It's um, The technology has grown. Let our minds grow and let us please pass it on. Encourage other people to... Um, inform other people that do, they do not have to wait that long that's something that probably like um causes people to change their minds about locking their hair because they're like oh my gosh i have to wait three months to wash my hair i can't do that blah 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 and you're like girl please no no that was something that was started um people probably didn't know any better but now we do now we do so please three months no I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who can sit here and say, yes, they've heard that before. They were probably told that I don't know what class locticians are going to and who are telling them this. Um, I mean, that's that's crazy. I mean, if I was a loctician, I would I mean, I would be losing money if I told my clients that number one, <laughs> um, other than it's a lie. But I would be losing money because I'm like, um, no. Two weeks, we hard. Two, three weeks. Come get your hair wash. You know? Let it be on me. What, three months? Anywho, guys. Also, I want to go ahead and add that you do not want to wash your hair at nighttime, guys. Do not wash your hair at nighttime. You will notice that after your hair starts to grow and it's getting longer and it's thick as heck, it takes a lot longer to dry. So, you do not want to go to bed with damp hair. That help forms mold in your hair. You do not want mold in your hair. A lot of times people think that, oh, it's just build up and all that stuff. Yeah, it could possibly be build up, but it also could possibly be mold from you going to bed with your hair damp. Mold is formed from damp, hot, closed, dark places. So your hair is damp. Your hair is um, being wrapped up at nighttime. So it's more heat being... Um, forming in your hair because you're covering it up. I don't know how my bonnet with me. But if you cover your hair at night with, with a bonnet, and your hair is still wet. So it's dark, it's hot, it's still damp. Recipe for mold. So you do not want to wash your hair at night, close to night. So that means if you have errands to run, please wash it early in the day. Give it time to dry. 
that's another advice I just want to add in there that when it comes to washing, wash your hair early in the day. Do not wash it at night, okay?